Hi, uh, my name is Pradeep and uh, I work for, uh, I'm, uh, by work I'm a software engineer and I've been doing natural farming for the last eight years in, um, in one of the driest region in Tamil Nadu and uh, we work towards uh, sustainable living, off-grid living, growing our own food and uh, trying to bring back the natural uh, ecology mm. and living in harmony with nature and animals. So this is a seed bank we constructed in uh, 2020 yeah and uh, this is a community seed bank and yeah. here we store uh, we cons uh, we uh, grow cultivate and uh, basically we conserve native varieties of seeds yeah. of india and we have close to 300 varieties of seeds yeah. which includes paddy millets and vegetables yeah so we encourage the farmers to contribute uh, uh, to the seed bank yeah so that every farmer can uh, you know we believe that seed is a it's a commodity when you consider farming as a business right? yeah so the seed bank will encourage farmers to, uh, uh, you know, sell their seeds, yeah. contribute, and uh, we want to grow together. And we want to, uh, we encourage, we want our uh, wishes to, have, uh, you know, build a similar seed bank for every village, yeah. uh, end of the day, every home. Yeah. So that you know, we don't uh, the seed sovereignty is met. Yeah. So that was the thing which was happening before the green revolution. Yeah. So we want to bring back that. Yeah. So in every village we have a temple, yeah. right? And in temple we store. Temple is another way of uh, seed storage. Oh, okay. Because the, the kalasam, the oh, top, okay. uh, is where the, all the grains are stored. Oh, okay. And uh, that act as a lightning arrester also. Okay. So and naturally, scientifically, you can say that revives the uh, keeps the uh, seeds alive. Yeah. So when there is a big drought or or it, or it may be a big flood, yeah. right? Even the, every everything is washed out. You will still have the seeds okay. the color in the temple, so that the next generation the can take. Yeah. Up. So that is the whole purpose, and the okay. seeds were that important right. for any community. But yeah. we have temples today, and we don't have any seeds. We don't have any seeds. <laughs> that is uh, all uh, yeah. followed for customs, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, today, than the temples, we need the seed bank. Yeah. Because seed is our identity, and uh, yeah, and there is no food sovereignty without seed sovereignty, yeah, seeds. right? And uh, so mm. we want, uh, we want, we wish. All these villages will have similar seed banks. Yeah. And end of the day, every farmer will yeah. have a seed bank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, the other thing I found very amazing about your farm, Pradeep, is uh, you you have innovative models of actually making money yeah. right, by value added products. Yeah. So that's uh, that's really, really good. Because today that is a need, right? Because yeah. we are all uh, in the last generation of farmers in India. Yeah. And all the uh, farmers and they are all into different professions. Yeah. Uh, so this will surely lead to a food security. Yeah, it is a global problem. It yeah. is right. So we want to uh, uh, personally, we were uh, we came into farming to have grow the, our own food, have a good organic food, and live a sustainable life. Yeah. But uh, looking at the current status, uh, you know, we want to show people that farming is a good, uh, beautiful area of life. At the same time, if you consider as a business, it is the most uh, profitable business on earth. Yeah. So we took. A small piece, and uh, if you want to make a business out of farming, you need not have a hectares of land. Yeah. You need not have hundred acres of hectares. Even one acre of land, you can still make, right? Yeah. And the sky is the limit for making pro products. Yeah. So we took a small patch of land, and this a, uh, it has a lot of challenges. Yeah. Whatever you name it, you have everything here. So in this, we started, uh, uh, you know, uh, following some uh, methodologies to show it as a profitable business. Yeah. And uh, if you see today, uh, because of monsoon failure la last year, uh, there is a severe water shortage yeah. everywhere. Yeah. The whole farm is deserted now. Yeah. Right. And no farmers in my village are doing farming. Yeah. But our farm is generating income. Yeah. Month over month. Yeah. And inclining income also. Yeah. So that is a success factor we want yeah. to show across. And uh, we have also started recruiting people, youngsters. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Have <laughs> He also. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing. He did his engineering, and then he was um, yeah. And then he came to us for a internship program. Yeah. He was inclined towards nature and other things. Yeah. So, uh, so that's how he came, and uh, he got. Uh, then he after the internship, he got back, but he wants to. Still, his mind was in the farming. So yeah. he said he wants to come and join us okay. as an employee. Yeah. So, and he's with us for the last two and a half years. Okay. And we're like partners and family. That's really good. So, and we have recruited a few more youngsters like for yeah. different work. Like it is like we want to bring the corporate in yeah. uh, into farming, right? Yeah. Now, now we we have a person for content development, 
and yeah. uh, when you talk from a business perspective yeah. you're going to differentiate your farming and other business mm. because business is business whatever yeah. the strategy you follow you have yeah. to follow only thing is the input is coming from the agriculture yeah yeah right so whatever the efforts whatever the strategies you follow for any other industrial business the same thing you will apply here also yeah right and i believe that then i can do that you know yeah the youngsters also can do it no oh, that's really really amazing i think it's very inspiring yeah yeah thank you so much for your time yeah. yes we'll thank be in you. touch yeah we'll have let's do a photo reklama wait for the